HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Ready for Hopkinton Hillers boys lacrosse on HCAM. It is playoff lacrosse out of the Central East Division II bracket. It's the third seeded 13 and 5 Hopkinton Hillers against the six seeded 11 and 7 Wayland Warriors. It should be a great matchup here today. This is one of the tougher brackets, I would say, in MIAA boys cross playoffs and we'll get you the starters for the Hillers in just a moment in case you miss them in net it is Corey Bannon who has been sensational all season on defense Seth Jenkins Luke McDonald on attack Dan Sage on defense Zach Frank a midfielder Owen McDonald on attack Andrew Paleko in the faceoff circle. Midfielder Dylan McBride on attack. Jack Sloan on defense. Tyler Zanini on defense. And the Hillers, of course, coached by Dan Norton. And we are underway. And the Hillers start off with possession, working right to left across your screen. And they're at home white jerseys with green numbering and the orange outline. Wayland in their away black jerseys with the orange numbering. Pass by Zach Frank over to midfield, it's loose. And it's hit by Dan Sage on the ground and picked up by Jacob Connors. Here comes the Hillers, Connors out in front, the pass, shot, goal! Connor Sullivan makes it one to nothing. 38 seconds in. And that is the way you want to start if you're the Hillers, Connor Sullivan with the beauty of a goal there. 11.22 left to go in the first quarter. And the Hillers are on the board. It was a nice pass by Luke McDonald as well. And for Connor Sullivan, that is his 45th goal of the season. Luke McDonald with his 30th assist. Luke McDonald is second on the team in assists behind Steven Maffiori. Here comes Wayland with possession, Jake Tyska. Tyska with the pass over to Aiden Chikara. Chikara behind the Wayland net. Passes to his right over to Michael Lampert. Lampert along the corner. We'll have to squirt it out to Nick Smith. And now it is Jake Tyska. Pass over, long shot there by Nick Smith. And Whalen ties it up. Looks like we might have a battle here. So Nick Smith makes it one to one with 10.45 left to go in the first quarter. Back to the faceoff circle we go. Of course, Andrew Paleko surpassing 1,000 career faceoff wins throughout his Hillers days. Will he win this one? Knocks it away. Yes, he will. Here comes Paleko. Paleko with the pass over to Luke McDonald. The lights starting to come on here at the Hopkinton High School turf fields. McDonald with the pass to the near side of Dylan McBride. Dylan McBride, certainly a player to look out for if you're Wayland. 
Team leader in goals. McDonald out to McBride, shot deflected away. And it'll be Wayland Ball. The Warriors of Wayland with possession. 10 minutes and counting left to go in the first quarter. The goaltender, J John Paw, will pass it out over to Nick Smith. Nick Smith along the near side, and he collided with Dylan McBride and ended up breaking McBride's net. Chikara with the pass back to Tyska. So McBride had to head over to the bench and grab a new net quickly. Tyska with the pass out over to Tim Goodfellow. Around the net goes Lampert. Pass out, loose ball picked up by Chikara. And now a shot there and it's in, Nick Smith again. Well I have to say Nick Smith has quite the smooth shot. He just rolled that right in. And that makes it a two to one Wayland lead with 9-12 left to go in the first quarter. At the rate these two teams are going, could have a goal every minute of this game. Can Palaco come up with another face-off win here? On the season, Andrew Palaco has 258 face-off wins coming into this game, and he gets another one here. Pass along the far side to Owen McDonald. Now behind the net to Luke. Near side of Mafiori. Now with possession, it is Connor Sullivan. Towards the middle of the field he goes. As the Hillers make a change. Sullivan now gonna rush in, he dropped it. Loose ball, picked up by Whelan, we have a penalty. It was picked up by Brett Morris. And who was the penalty on? It looks like Wayland. It's a one minute penalty. Luke McDonald will pass it out. It was Mason Boulevard, the guilty party. So he'll sit out for a minute, and Wayland is a man short. Behind the net, over to McDonald. And now around they go. Connor Sullivan passes to his right. To Matthew, we're now back to Sullivan. Sullivan with the shot. Goal, Hillers! Connor Sullivan with his second goal of the game. It's a two to two game. The score comes with 8.13 left to go in the first quarter. Back and forth we go here at Hopkinton High School. Well, the Hillers certainly going to have an advantage in the faceoff circle today. Andrew Palaco nearly unstoppable. Will he win another one here? I believe so far in this game, he's won all but one faceoff. And he wins another. Has it down to a science. Pass up the far side of Owen McDonald. Now to Luke McDonald. Luke McDonald behind the net. Trying to figure out where to go with it. The Hillers in the midst of a change. Luke McDonald trying to swing around, take the shot, loose ball. Big hit there, McBride knocked to the ground. And that'll draw the push stoppage. Hillers ball. Pass by Mafiori over to Connors. Now around the net over to Luke. Out to McBride. Out in front now, Connors. And now along the corner, Owen McDonald. And now it's Luke with possession behind the net. 
Luke gonna try to spin it around, sneak it in, and he will. And actually, wait, will that count? No. He was in the crease. So the score does not count. It remains two to two. Luke was in the crease there. Now Whalen quickly working their way up. There's a shot and a goal. Nick Smith with the hat trick. Nick Smith makes it a three to two Wayland lead with 7.08 left to go in the first quarter. The action is fast and furious to start off this playoff matchup. Tom Nappy happy to be on the call this evening. Joe Frackleton on camera. The winner of this game advances to play second seeded Concord Carlisle who defeated seventh seeded North Attleboro yesterday. 18 to six. Actually, that game might have been earlier today, but in any case, it'll be the winner of this game versus Concord Carlisle in the semifinals of the Central East Division II sectional bracket. That game will take place on the 10th. Luke McDonald behind the net. Pass over to McBride. Luke once again, out to Mafiori. Now it is Connor Sullivan along the far side. Sullivan drops it, picked up by Wayland, and it's picked up by Michael Boschetto. And Boschetto draws a big push along the far side, and that'll draw a flag. That might have been a frustration push there by Connor Sullivan, but he is going to head over to the penalty area. It'll be Wayland Ball. Along the far side, it'll be put in play by Michael Lampert. Look out for Nick Smith, he is quite the shot. Along the far side over to Lampert. Now across, there's a shot and a goal. Timothy Goodfellow makes it a four to two Wayland lead. Well, Wayland with the two goal advantage. And that goal comes exactly a minute after their third goal from Nick Smith. 6.08 left to go in the first quarter. A 4 to 2 Wayland lead. Placo in the faceoff circle up against Jack Dretler. Blaco collects. There he goes, rushing up. And he was trying to get the shot off, but just too much traffic. Eludes the traffic, there is a delayed penalty. There's a shot and a goal! Owen McDonald! And I believe that penalty is going to be against Wayland, so the Hillers will have the man advantage for the next minute. It's a four to three Wayland lead now. That goal comes with 5.51 left to go in the first quarter. Palaco on the face-off, wins another one. It is just about automatic with Andrew Palaco in the face-off circle. Pass over to Zach Frank. I believe the penalty might have been waved off. But in any case, the Hillers trailing by one half possession. Here goes Zach Frank. Pass around the back of the net. Luke out to McBride, and McBride's shot is denied. Loose ball, swatted at by a number of players, and it's picked up by Luke McDonald. 
Luke McDonald going to swing it out to McBride. And now it's Maffiori. Now over to Connor Sullivan. Sullivan rushes in and airmails that one. It'll remain Hiller's possession. Luke McDonald out to Maffiori. Now the shot by Sullivan is denied. A good save by the Wayland goaltender. John Paw. And now the Hillers get it back as it squirts out. Connor Sullivan scoops it up. Here he goes. McBride with possession along the near side. Now back out to Sullivan. And now over to Zach Frank. Frank over to McDonald. They'll swing it around the back of the net. Luke squirts it out to Maffiori. There's a shot and a goal. Steven Maffiori ties things up at four. Comes with 4.11 left to go in the first quarter. During the season, Steven Maffiori had 17 goals. And there's number 18 for you. Palaco on the faceoff. And this time comes up short. Wayland with possession. Pass along the far side. Shakara gets it out to Lampert. Lampert trying to close in. Trying to swing it around, loose ball. Bobbled, still on the ground, picked up by the Hillers. Now it's loose once again, knocked out of the net of Zanini, but now it's picked up by Curtis Terry. Here goes Terry, and now behind the Whalen net, and Whalen gets it back. Warriors rushing up field. Philip Natsis passes it over. And now here comes Nick Smith. And this time, the shot is off the mark. Wayland ball. Lampert brings it out. Pass out, shot, goal. And it's Aiden Chikara that time. Well, a good setup for Chikara to rush in and put it in to put Wayland back on top, five to four. 307 left to go in the first quarter. Well, Whalen switched things up in the faceoff circle. They got William Monroe in there up against Palaco. He won the last faceoff. Will he win this one? Monroe up against Palaco. Palaco wins the faceoff. Pass over to the far side of Owen McDonald. Behind the net now to Luke McDonald. Out in front, McBride shot, denied. McBride was trying to sneak that in through the five hole, but Michael Boschetto was standing right in front of him. Rushing up field, Mason Boulevard. And now with possession, it's Goodfellow. Now along the near side, Lampert. Lampert is going to take it around behind the net. And now he drops it, and it's picked up by the goaltender, Corey Bannon. Bannon pass to the near side of Seth Jenkins. Jenkins misses the mark with Connor Sullivan. Wayland has it back. A long pass down to Lampert. Lampert closing in. Shot, goal. Well, that was a great feed. 
Upfield by Wayland. Michael Lampert makes it six to four. That score comes with 2.01 left. So far there has been a goal within every minute of this match. By one team or the other. Blako on the face off. Swats it up and he pulls it up. Here comes the Hillers. Someone lost their net, it was Palaco. The net was knocked out. Waylon Ball. Pass up by Monroe along the far side. Nick Smith back in the game for Wayland. He already has three goals to his credit. Along the far side with possession is Tyska. Tyska out in front, shot goal. Wayland making it look easy. Dylan Darubius. Dylan Darubius puts it in with 127 left to go in the quarter. And it's a 7-4 Wayland lead. Play go back to the face-off circle up against Monroe. Battle for possession. Squirts out. Palaco picks it up. Here goes Palaco, and we'll have a timeout called by the Hillers. 1-11 left to go in the first quarter. Well, 110 actually. Left to go in the first quarter. It's Wayland 7, the Hillers 4. We'll take a timeout. It's Hiller's Boys Playoff Lacrosse on HCAM. Off the timeout, 110 left to go in the first quarter. A 7 to 4 Wayland lead. Connor Sullivan with possession for the Hillers. Now it's Luke McDonald. Over to McBride. Now with possession, Zach Frank. Pass over to Sullivan. Connor Sullivan rushing in. That shot off the mark. Hillers will maintain possession. McBride got there first. Zach Frank enters it into play. There goes Frank, pass behind the net. Over to Luke McDonald. Luke contested. There goes Owen, or Connor Sullivan rather. That shot off the mark. It'll be Hiller's possession. Luke able to get there first. Here goes Luke. And it's dropped by Sullivan. Swats at it, and it's knocked up field by Morris for Wayland, and that is how the first quarter will end. After one quarter of play, it is the Hillers for Wayland seven. The second quarter coming up in moments right here on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Second quarter, 
And it's Wayland leading the Hillers seven to four. Andrew Palaco heading to the faceoff circle for Hopkinton. William Monroe for Wayland. And this time the Hillers will be working left to right across your screen. Wayland on a three goal run in the last three minutes of the first quarter. And we are underway. Squirts up, Paleko able to field it. Paleko with the pass over to Owen McDonald. He drops it, picks it back up, and here he goes. Over to Luke McDonald behind the net. Now it's up to Dylan McBride. Now over to Zach Frank. Connor Sullivan with possession. Fires it over to Owen McDonald, behind the net to Luke. Luke trying to sneak it out many times from behind the net. This time they're gonna pass. They're gonna take their time with it a little bit, try to find an opening to get a nice shot off. <laughs> Bride out to Zach Frank. Now Frank is looking where to go with it. 11 minutes and counting left to go in the second quarter. Here goes Frank. Pass over to Owen McDonald. Now Luke McDonald with a shot. And it's to the back of the net. Whalen Ball. With possession for Whalen, Jake Tyska. Up the far side he goes. Tyska runs it up, still with possession. It's out to Nick Smith. Smith trying to close in. Take some swats from Zanini. Now over to Michael Lampert. Behind the net he goes. Trying to swing it around. Lampert, heavily contested, gets the shot off. And it is going to remain Whalen possession. Shot was off the mark. Pass out by Tim Goodfellow. Now over to Jake Tyska. Well, based on how the first quarter, why this second quarter so far, totally different story. Nice job by Corey Bannon deflecting that shot away. Attempt made by Jake Tyska. Michael Lampert will inbound from the near side for the Warriors. Lampert out in front. He was trying to feed it to Goodfellow, and it was off of Goodfellow, picked up by Zanini. Zanini, pass up the near side over to Sage. Here comes Sage. He'll feed it to Owen McDonald. Now Luke McDonald trying to square it out. Loose ball. Picked up at midfield by Jack Sloan, but we have a whistle here. Offsides Hillers, Waylon Ball. With possession is Chikara. Pass to the near, near side. Gets away from his intended target, Lampert. Waylon will maintain possession. Lampert, behind the net, feeds it out, shot, goal, Nick Smith, firing it in once again. That's his fourth goal today. That makes it an eight to four Wayland lead. Goal comes with 8.38 left in the second quarter. Andrew Palaco and William Monroe to the face-off circle. Well, I 
think you have to get a body on Nick Smith. You cannot let him get shots off. They kept him quiet for a while, but you can only keep him quiet for so long. Blako squirts it out, batted around, Wayland has it. And we have a whistle. And it's going to be a timeout call. 8.28 left to go in the second quarter. It's Wayland 8, the Hillers 4. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Playoff Lacrosse on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A guy? I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al My Gal and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be. Camp. We love H Camp and I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV and I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Woo! 8:28 left to go in the first half. An 8 to 4 lead for Wayland and the Warriors will have possession. Here comes Michael Lampert. Lampert upfield. Over to Chikara. Out in front now, Nick Smith. Shot, and this time he's wide. Whalen maintains possession. Chikara. Over to Smith. Now it's out to Tyska. Behind the net, he goes to Lampert. Lampert trying to close in. Good box out there by Seth Jenkins. And it'll go Hiller's way. Offsides there, Hopkinton with possession. Mafiori. Over to Owen McDonald, now behind the net to Luke McDonald. Now along the far side to McBride. Now it's out to Mafiori, now to the near side of Connor Sullivan. Sullivan fires it over, and now they're gonna wrap it around once again. Luke McDonald with possession. Out in front, Mafiori shot no, but it is picked up right behind the net by Owen McDonald. Now Luke once again, there's a shot, no. And did Owen get there first? Yes, he did. That went out to Connor Sullivan. Connor Sullivan trying to put the moves on. There's a shot, rips it right in. Connor Sullivan with a scorching shot to make it eight to five. What a goal that was by Connor Sullivan. And he has the hat trick. His third goal of the day. He comes with 6.55 left to go in the first half. Well, Connor Sullivan came in to this game with 44 goals. And he already has three today. Swatted around, and it is picked up by Jack Sloan. Or actually, that was Zanini. There's a shot, and it's a save. Nice save by John Paw, the Wayland goaltender. Here comes the Warriors. Along the far side, pass by Tyska over to Nick Smith. Smith back to Tyska. Tyska behind the net. And that shot is off the side of the net by Lampert, picked up by Bannon. Corey Bannon, the goaltender, gets it over to Zach Frank. Frank running up the far side. Frank over to Owen McDonald.
Now over to Luke McDonald. Luke out to McBride, now Connor Sullivan. Mafiori. Over to Owen McDonald, now Luke. Luke trying to bring it around. Mafiori. Connor Sullivan bobbles it, picks it back up, draws a push, and he maintains possession. Nice job there by Connor Sullivan, keeping possession for the Hillers. Zach Frank trying to close in. The Hillers having trouble finding openings in front of the net. Connor Sullivan with a shot, and it's deflected away. Hillers will have it. Luke McDonald will put it in play. Mafiori, Connor Sullivan, and that shot's wide. Hillers will maintain possession. Owen McDonald to Luke. Swings it along the far side to Mafiori. Now Zach Frank. Frank closing in, shot! And it's off the goaltender's net, out of play. That was a nice job by Pa reacting to that shot and deflecting it away. Hillers maintain possession. Luke to Owen. Owen to McBride. Now it's Mafiori. Zach Frank now. Frank trying to close it in. Over to Luke, behind the net he goes. Sullivan. Now Frank. Closing in, and a great pass and a great shot by Owen McDonald. Zach Frank on the assist, Owen McDonald on the goal, and the Hillers are within two. Eight to six, that score comes with four minutes left in the first half. On the face off. Batted around by both sides. Who's going to come up with it? Swatted out, and it is knocked over by Paleko towards Sloan, and Sloan has it. Nice job by Jack Sloan. Zanini with possession coming up the near side. Pass over to Owen McDonald. Yeah. Owen to Luke, and we have a delayed penalty. Misfires on McBride. Bobbled by Wayland. And now we'll get the penalty whistle. And it'll be against Wayland, it appears. So the Hillers have the man advantage for the next minute. Guilty party was Alex Mele. Owen to Luke. Along the far side, Frank looking for a shot, and he's just off the mark, but it's picked up by Luke. Over to Frank, now Connor Sullivan trying to rip it in. Hillers maintain possession. 3.06 left to play in this first half. The second quarter has been much different than the first. It was just score after score in the first quarter. The second quarter, it certainly slowed up a bit offensively. Picked up by Zach Frank. Pass out now to Sullivan, now along the near side, Mafiori. Now Owen back to Luke. Here's Zach Frank. Over to Connor Sullivan. Sullivan misfires towards Owen McDonald. And it'll be Waylon Ball. Waylon 
Wayland going to change things up. Only 10 seconds left on the man advantage for the Hillers. On the near side it goes, and now Hopkinton has it. Connor Sullivan. Over to Owen McDonald, now Luke. Great pass out in front to Dylan McBride, and he puts it in. It's a one-point game. The score comes with 2.23 left to go in the first half. And there was just one second left on the man advantage. But Luke McDonald with a beauty of a pass once again to Dylan McBride this time. And Dylan McBride has his first score of the game. And the Hillers are right back in business. Dylan McBride had 41 goals during the season. Three goals shy of the team leader, Connor Sullivan. Wayland with possession. And we're, we're gonna have a timeout called by the Wayland Warriors. We have ourselves a battle here at Hopkinton High School. 2.15 left to go in the first half. The Hillers seven, Wayland eight. It's Hiller's Boys Playoff Lacrosse on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Two fifteen left to go in the first half. The Hillers fell behind at one point by four goals, but they have gone on a three goal run and they are right back in the game. It's an eight to seven Wayland lead and Wayland has it off the timeout. Pass over by Lampert with possession Boulevard now to the far side to Morris. Morris coming up the far side, leaves it behind for Goodfellow. Tim Goodfellow, pass over to Chikara. Now to Lampert. Less than two minutes left to go in the first half now. Here goes Lampert, shot off the mark. Who's gonna get it? And it'll be Wayland. Nick Smith just beating out Tyler Zanini. Michael Lampert with possession. On the far side, Lampert going to bring it out. Draws all kinds of contact and we're gonna have a flag here. This is gonna be against the Hillers. Or is it? And it will. Jack Sloan heading to the penalty area for a minute. So Whalen with the man advantage and possession in Hiller's territory. Pass out to Tyska. Now along the far side, good fellow. Behind the net, Lampert. Now it's good fellow. Pass over to Derubius. On the near side, rather, around the horn they go. Derubius over to Goodfellow, and Derubius fires a shot off the bar. Wayland maintains possession. 30 seconds left on the penalty kill for the Hillers. 51 seconds and counting left to go in the first half. An 
eight to seven Wayland lead. It's been a great battle so far in this playoff matchup as expected. And Timothy Goodfellow airmails that one. Rubius to Goodfellow. Now behind the net he goes. Lampert. And now it's picked off by Bannon. Here goes Corey Bannon. He's going to run with it. And we are going to have a Hiller's timeout. Corey Bannon coming way out of the net with that one, trying to hang on to it, burn some time. 20.2 seconds left to go in the first half. It's Wayland 8, the Hillers 7 on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. 20.2 seconds left to go in the first half, an 8-7 Wayland lead as we continue off the Hillers' timeout. It's been a great battle so far between these two teams. And it's been back and forth momentum shifts all game long. Hillers with possession off the timeout. Zach Frank with the pass over to Seth Jenkins. Now along the near side, Owen McDonald. Behind the net to Luke. Hillers trying to tie things up to end the half. Luke boxed out, pass over, shot, goal! Zach Frank ties it up at eight. Four point nine seconds left to go in the first half, and Zach Frank finds the net. Great passing by Seth Jenkins and Luke McDonald. And we have a tie game. Four straight goals by the Hillers. Battle for it in the center circle. And Whalen wins it that time. It was picked up by Monroe, but that'll do it for the first half. What an unbelievable first half it was. The Hillers outscore Wayland in the second quarter, four to one, to tie things up at eight apiece as we head into the final 24 minutes of regulation. You're going to want to stick around we have a great battle on our hands in this boys lacrosse Central East Division II playoff matchup between the six-seeded Wayland Warriors and the third-seeded Hopkinton Hillers. The second half will be a whole new game as at the half, things are tied at eight apiece. The winner of this game advances on to take on second-seeded Concord Carlisle. Who will it be? Yeah, you're going to have to stick around to find out. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Playoff Lacrosse on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. We are just about ready for the second half. Tom Nappy on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera. It's Hopkinton Hillers. Boys playoff hockey on H cam. We are tied at eight apiece between the six seeded Wayland Warriors and the third seeded Hopkinton Hillers. H cam sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Andrew Palaco heads back to the face-off circle to match up with William Monroe, who has taken over on the face-offs for Wayland. Palaco has had more of the success, but Monroe has at least contested them 
a fair amount of times, but the Hillers have the last four goals in this game. They were trailing eight to four at one point, but ended up tying things up at eight apiece as they outscored Wayland in the second quarter, four to one after they were outscored the first quarter, seven to four. Zanini picks it up. Off the pass from Sloan, now it is up over to Paleko. Paleko rushing in, fires a shot, goal! Andrew Paleko! Not only can he win face-offs, but he can also put it in the net. And that score comes with 11.40 left to go in the third quarter. Great way to start off the second half if you're the Hillers. 20 seconds in, take the lead. And let's see if Palaco will win a faceoff now. Andrew Palaco had 12 goals during the regular season. So he's not the biggest goal scorer, but he can certainly put it in. And he picks it up here. Pass over to McBride. Behind the net, over to Luke McDonald. Hillers now with the last five goals in this game. McBride with possession. Over to Zach Frank. Along the far side, Connor Sullivan. Sullivan rushing in, there's a shot. Scooped up by the goaltender. Here comes Wayland. Good save there by Paw. Here comes Tyska. Out in front, and Wayland strikes right back. Aiden Chikara makes it 9 to 9. Well, perhaps we'll uh, have a similar situation to what we had in the first quarter, where it was just goal after goal. And that score comes with exactly 11 minutes left in the third quarter. Andrew Palaco up against Monroe. And we'll have a whistle here for a trip. Or was it a timeout? No, it was indeed a trip, so the Hillers have it. Mafiori. Over to Luke McDonald now. Owen to Luke, rather. Now it's Connor Sullivan. Zach Frank over to Connor Sullivan. Sullivan. Shot, no. Hillers maintain. Luke McDonald will take it out. Out in front, McBride, goal! Luke McDonald must have at least several assists today. And he sets up Dylan McBride for the second time today to make it a 10 to nine game. That comes with 10.30 left to go in the third quarter. It's Dylan McBride's second goal of the day. 10 to nine lead for the Hillers. Blaco against Will Monroe. Good battle. Palaco squirts it out. And it's picked up by Sloan. Pass over to the near side to McBride. Now it's across to Owen McDonald. Connor Sullivan. Up to Owen, now Luke behind the net. To McBride, Mafiori now. 
Zach Frank over to Connor Sullivan. Now Owen McDonald, back to Luke, wrapping it around, trying to open it up in front of the net. Miller's being patient. Connor Sullivan rushing in, and he will put another one in. Connor Sullivan makes it 11 to nine, Hillers. The score comes with 9.31 left to go in the third quarter. Connor Sullivan was in the hat trick club since, the, since 6.55 in the first half. And there is his fourth goal. Wayland adjusted to watch Connor Sullivan more closely, but couldn't stop him that time. Palenko knocks it out and picks it up. Mr. 1000 has possession. Here he goes, rushing in, shot deflected away. Loose ball picked up along the far side by Mason Boulevard. That was a great shot by Palenko, but a tremendous save by John Paw. Along the near side, Mason Boulevard. Closing in, boxed out. Pass over to Chikara. Chikara being watched by Jack Sloan. Pass to Lampert. An 11 to nine lead for the Hillers, closing in on eight and a half left in the third quarter. Here goes Lampert. Swings it around, was looking for a shot. He'll get one off here, deflected away by Sloan. Loose ball, who's gonna get to it? It'll be Wayland. Getting to the line first was Dylan Derubius. Excuse me, it is going to be the Hillers. Hopkinton working right to left. Mafiori with possession. Mafiori over to Owen McDonald, shot deflected away. Hillers maintain, picked up by Owen. Out to Mafiori, shot, bounces it, and it's netted by the goaltender, Paw. Well, Whalen going to need to get something going fast to stay in this game. The Hillers trying to pull away. Misfire towards Nick Smith from Brett Morris. Loose ball, deflected in the air. And we get a whistle. Hiller's ball. Here goes Luke McDonald. Over to McBride, shot, deflected away. Another great save by Pa. McBride to Connor Sullivan. The Hillers are certainly getting some great shots off in this third quarter. We have a delayed penalty. Zach Frank with possession. I believe it was some contact, some illegal contact in front of the net on Wayland. Hence the delayed penalty. There's a shot and it's scooped up by the goaltender, Pa. Legal procedure penalty, I believe the official said. So it's 30 seconds on Wayland. Philip Natsis, the guilty party. Luke McDonald on the entry over to Zach Frank. Affiori out in front. Over to Luke, shot, deflected away, loose ball in front of the net. And a battle for it continues on. And now we have a whistle. It'll go Wayland's way. And it was dropped by Brett Morris. Quickly picks it back up. Flips it up over to Mason Boulevard. And now it's loose once again. Picked up on the near side by McBride. Misfire towards Owen McDonald. And Denham has it. Jake Tyska with possession, rushes upfield. Was it 
30 second penalty. It has since expired. Well, if you're Wayland, I think you gotta get Nick Smith more involved. He had some tremendous shots in the first half. And they're trying to get him involved there, but it's knocked out by Zanini. A great knockout and steal there. Zanini with the pass over to Owen McDonald. Shot, goal! Owen McDonald! At 5.54 left to go in the third quarter, makes it a 12-9 game. Well, the last three goals belong to the Hillers. Andrew Blaco up against Will Monroe. And it's Paleko again. Pass over to McBride. I think a lot of Hillers fans may be looking for a tripping call there. Dylan behind the net to Luke. That's a push with possession. Luke over to Dylan. Now back to Luke. Or Owen rather, now it's Dylan. There's Mafiori. Hillers, they have a three goal lead, so don't expect them to rush a shot. Owen over to Luke, squirts it out to Maffiori. Now it's Zach Frank. Five minutes and counting left to go in the third quarter. Frank rushing in, shot, deflected in the air, and it's loose in front of the net. And Wayland has it. Here comes the Warriors. Now it's knocked out of the grasp of Boulevard by Connor Sullivan. Hiller's ball. Connor Sullivan with possession along the far side. Around the net they go. Maffiori. Maffiori putting on the moves. Over to Dylan McBride. Now Luke. McBride, Maffiori. Now Connor Sullivan. Sullivan rips a shot a little too high there. Hillers maintain. Here goes Luke McDonald. Over to Dylan McBride, now Maffiori. Out in front, shot, no, side of the net. Picked up by Luke, and now another shot, yes! Owen McDonald again! Owen McDonald puts the Hillers up by four. 3.51 left to go in the third quarter. A 13-9 lead for the Hillers. And the Hillers trying to take this one over. Tremendous goal there by Owen. Battle in the face-off circle. Can Paleko come up with it once again? The battle between Paleko and Monroe continues. Both fighting hard for it. Monroe needs, he knows he needs to get it for Whalen to give them a chance to get back in this game. And it's out of play along the near side. Hiller's ball. Both teams giving everything they got out there on the field today. But the Hillers looking unstoppable in the last few minutes. Sloan with the pass up the far side over to Jenkins. Now over to Owen McDonald. Now to Luke McDonald. 
McBride. Zach Frank along the near side. Mafiori now. Less than three minutes left to go in the third quarter. Luke with possession behind the net. Over to Owen. Now to Connor Sullivan. Mafiori gets it to Frank. Here's McBride. Mafiori. Connor. Owen with the pass to Luke. Luke was thinking about wrapping it around there. He'll hold on to it. No need to rush for the Hillers. You're up by four. Connor Sullivan rips in a shot. What a beauty. Puts it net side to make it 14 to nine. And look at the Hillers go. Score comes with 2.17 left to go in the third quarter. It is very possible we'll see above 20 goals today for the Hillers if this keeps up. That is the fifth goal of the game for Connor Sullivan. And Palaco wins another faceoff. Along the near side, he drops it. It's stolen away. Along the sideline, a battle for it. A number of players in there for both sides, and we'll have a whistle. It'll go Wayland's way. Pass by Lampert. Over to Smith. Less than two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Tyska with possession. Puts it behind the net to Chikara. Out in front, shot, and a save by Bannon. Corey Bannon denying the shot from Derubius. And Bannon rushes it out, draws some contact. Nice job holding on to it. Here comes the Hillers. Along the far side corner, it's Owen McDonald. Owen drops it a number of times, picks it back up. Being heavily contested, will rush it out. Puts it out in front. McBride, shot, goal! It's the Hiller's world and Wayland is just living in it. 15 to nine, Hopkinton. 111 left to go in the third quarter. Andrew Palaco and Will Monroe head back to the faceoff circle. The Hillers just on absolute fire in this third quarter. That is six straight goals. And they have done it in just over nine minutes. Palaco in the battle with Monroe. It's been fun watching the face-off circle today when Palaco and Monroe get together. Some great battles in there. Zanini with possession. Palaco comes out on top again. McBride now along the near side. Back to Connor Sullivan. He goes. Sullivan hanging on to it, letting that time burn off the clock. Got the six goal lead, no reason at all to rush. Less than 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter now. Here comes Connor Sullivan, shot, goal! He makes it look easy. Connor Sullivan with the ringer. Sixteen to nine, Hillers. Twenty point eight seconds left to go. Palenko and Monroe back to the circle. It's 
Been great face-off battles all evening. And this time, Whalen wins it. Rushing up, shot, and there's a well-needed Whalen goal. That was Jake Tyska that time. So that'll make it a 16 to 10 game. Hiller's up by six. Their seven goal streak has been snapped. 14.2 seconds left to go in the third quarter. This game's not over, this Wayland team, they got some grit to them, some good shooters. You gotta stay on the ball here if you're the Hillers. Swatted around by a number of players, picked up by Paleko. He wins another one, over to McBride, loose ball, picked up. McBride trying to ring it in, deflect it away, and that will do it for the third quarter. At the end of three, it's the Hillers 16 and Wayland 10. It was eight to eight at the half in the third quarter. The Hillers outscore Wayland eight to two, and they have a comfortable six goal lead as we head in to the final 12 minutes of regulation. It's Hopkinton Hillers boys varsity playoff lacrosse on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving because if you do it, your child will too. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. A 16 to 10 lead for the Hillers as we head into the final 12 minutes of regulation. The Hillers outscoring Wayland in the third quarter, eight to two. It was a seven to four first quarter in favor of Wayland, a four to one second quarter in favor of the Hillers, and an eight to two third quarter in favor of the Hillers. Still plenty of time left for Wayland to get back in this game. So the Hillers have to keep their foot on the gas. Andrew Paleko in there up against Jake Tyska. Swatted upfield towards Hillers territory. Hopkinton will work left to right for the fourth quarter. And still being batted around. Picked up now by Paleko. Here he goes. Paleko rushing in. Shot goal! Andrew Paleko with his second goal of the day. Making it rain. 17 to 10 Hillers. 11.41 left to go in regulation. As I mentioned earlier, Andrew Paleko only 12 goals during the regular season, but he has two in this game. There goes Whalen, a misfire there. Whalen maintains, so it's Chikara on the shot. Wayland is going to have to work fast and furious to get back in this game. Lampert, out in front, great block by Bannon. It was an excellent setup by Wayland, but Bannon says, not in my house. There's Lampert looking for Chikara, and Bannon stuffed him. Nick Smith with the secondary shot, Wayland maintains. Batted around, loose ball. And it's good fellow up against Daniel Sage for the Hillers. Wayland maintains along the far side, Tyska. Tyska with a shot, and it was deflected away, and Bannon wraps it up. That went off the post. 
That was nearly in. That's as close as you can get without actually getting a score. McBride along the far side. Over to Luke McDonald. McBride swings it out to Zach Frank. Now it's Maffiori. Now Zach Frank. Here goes Frank. Misfires towards Owen. It'll be Whalen Ball. 10-15 and counting left to go in regulation. A long pass over to Nick Smith. Here comes the big guy, pass in front. Shot and another great save by Bannon. It was Chikara again on the shot. Bannon deflects it away and he's able to pick it up behind the net. Corey Bannon did not make too many impressive saves in the first quarter, but since then he has been tremendous. Sloan up to Jenkins. And now over to Curtis Terry who draws some contact. Loose ball and it's picked up by McBride. We get a whistle. It'll be Hiller's ball. Connor Sullivan with possession. Over to Zach Frank. Now Maffiori. Maffiori trying to close in. Swings it out to Zach Frank. Frank trying to decide where to go with it. And he's burning that time off the clock. That's what you want to do here if you're the Hillers. You're up by seven, burn that time. Frank, along the far side, passing back. Over to Luke McDonald. Draws a couple bumps, swings it around. Great pass in front, and Maffiori with the ringer. Number 18 scores goal number 18. Eighteen to ten, Hillers. Eight fifty-seven left to go. Paleko up against Tyska. Just less than nine minutes left to go. Paleko has it batted away by Lampert. Is Lampert able to kick it away and picks it up? Lampert drawing some contact from Jack Sloan. Lampert trying to swing it around. Bannon denies him. Picks it back up, however. Lampert trying to bring it out. And some contact there, get a whistle, and Wayland maintains. Aiden Chikara will put it in play. Chikara had an open side of the net, but a misfire. Loose ball on the near side, and it's picked up by Curtis Terry. Terry gets it over to Corey Bannon. Bannon flings it up to Terry along the far side. Now it's a loose ball. Terry picks it back up. Here he goes. Pass over to Brian Keefe. Eight minutes and counting left to go in regulation. Keefe with the pass up the near side. Owen McDonald. Owen brings it out. Shot. No. Hillers maintain. Luke McDonald will put it in play. Look out, shot, go! Oh, Luke McDonald caught them sleeping. 19 to 10, Hillers. The goal comes with 7.45 left to go. Luke McDonald brings it out and rings it up. Oh, 
Blako and Tyska. Paleko wins it again. We get a flag here. There was a big push by Paleko. I don't know if that was really anyone's fault. They kind of just ran into each other. Could have just been the way he got a shoulder in there. Luke McDonald with possession. McDonald trying to bring it around once again, drawing heavy contact this time from Mason Boulevard. Delayed penalty on the way. Weinstock over to Zach Frank. Frank bringing it up. Great setup to McBride, but he, it was knocked away. Good defense in front of the net by Whalen. We'll see what the call is in moments. It's going to be against Wayland. It is on Ryan McDonald for Wayland. Hillers will take it. Man advantage for the next minute. Owen oh, Otamafiori. Oh, Zach Frank out to Murphy. Now it's to the near side of Connor Sullivan out in front, McBride. Drawing some heavy contact on the, after the misfire there. Zach Frank picks it up. Frank Tamafiori drops it, picks it up. Over to Connor Sullivan. Great setup in front for McBride. Owen oh, McDonald saw McBride running up towards the net. Perfect pass, perfect goal. 20 to 10 Hillers. The score comes with 6.24 left to go. And the Hillers racking up the goals in this playoff matchup. Paleko and Tyska to the center circle. Knocked up. Field, Paleko picks it up. There goes Paleko. Over to Owen McDonald, this time a save. Good save there by Pa, who's been, <laughs> I'm sure, overstressed in goal today with the tremendous shooting by the Hillers. It'll be Hillers ball. Up the far side, and it's picked up by Curtis Terry. Knocked away, loose ball, Terry maintains. Over to Owen McDonald. McDonald with two on him, trying a push to the ground, and we'll get a whistle. Hillers will keep it. Can't push the guys down like that. Pass by Riley Del Ponte. Along the far side now. I believe that's Connor Murphy who just entered the game. The Hillers going to give everybody a taste of the action up by 10. And Coach Norton, he trusts anyone on this roster. Picked up by Koshef. Out in front, a little misfire there to Weinstock. Loose ball rolls all the way back into the Hillers defensive zone. And we'll have an offsides here. Waylon Ball. Michael Lampert with possession. Five minutes and counting left to go in regulation. The Hillers up 20 to 10. Hillers just a few minutes away from advancing to take on Concord Carlisle. Another great knock away by Bannon. Lampert able to keep it as it deflected back to him. Lampert caught up in all kinds of traffic, leaves it out in front. There's a goal by Waylon. Tim Goodfellow on the score. 22-11. First.
First goal for Whalen in quite a while. Comes with 4.41 left to go. First goal for Whalen since 14.2 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Picked up by Paleko, who wins yet another faceoff. I think with this playoff season, he might end up over 300 for the season. Here comes Whalen. They're going to have to strike fast and furiously if they want any chance of getting back into this one. Tyska over to Nick Smith. Shot too high. Bannon actually scooped it out of the air. What a nice job by Corey Bannon. Ryan Keefe in a battle along the near side with Nick Smith, among others. And we have a whistle here. Starting to get a little aggressive along the near side. And it was a smart timeout call there to stop the craziness along the near side. I believe it was actually a Wayland timeout. 4.03 left to go. The Hillers leading Wayland 20 to 11. The game not over yet. Anything can happen in lacrosse, that's for sure. But things looking good for the Hillers. It's Hopkinton Hillers. Boys playoff lacrosse on HCAM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, a family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Off the timeout, 4.03 left to go in regulation. The Hillers leading Wayland 20 to 11. They outscored Wayland in this fourth quarter, four to one. Wayland with possession off the timeout. Here comes Lampert. Shot. And it's a battle in front of the net, and it's scooped up by the goaltender. And we do have a new goalie for the Hillers, Colin Norred taking over. Corey Bannon had a tremendous game for Hopkinton today. He made a lot of unbelievable saves. But he is going to get some rest as the Hillers have a comfortable lead. Jake Weinstock up to Luke McDonald. Now it's behind the net to Koshef. Swings it out over to Connors. Connors draws a push. He's going to keep fighting forward. Here he goes, front of the net, score! Jacob Connors, the sophomore midfielder, makes it 21 to 11. Goal comes with 3.21 left. That's Cole Salyards on the faceoff for the Hillers. And Whalen wins it this time. 
Here goes Tyska. In front of the net, loose ball, picked up by Goodfellow. Coach Norton wants to give everybody a taste of this playoff game while they have a comfortable lead. Keep them fresh in case he needs them in the next round. Michael Lampert with possession, being heavily contested. Gets it away, we do have a flag. Seth Jenkins all over Lampert there. And we have a hold against Jenkins. So Wayland will have the 32nd man advantage on the holding call. Lampert with possession. Over to Tyska. Now it's Nick Smith popping it over to Goodfellow. Over to the near side to Lampert. Now to the corner, shot denied. It was Chikara on the shot. And a nice deny by Norid. Sloan with the pass up. Here comes Patrick Barnes. Barnes trying to leave it for Hanneberry, and it got away from him. Wayland Ball. Clock continues on, 218 and counting. Left to go in regulation. The Hillers with a 10 goal lead. And Wayland, I think, getting some of their backup players in there too. They know their fate at this point. Well, it was a well played game. It was a tremendous first half, but the Hillers pulling away in the second half, just dominating throughout. And they are going to advance on to take on Concord Carlisle. Another great save there by Norad off the shot from Goodfellow. We do have a penalty. And this one is going to be on Evan Koshef, 30 seconds. So Whalen with the man advantage once again. There's a shot, air mailed. Whalen maintains. Lampert with the ball behind the net. Minute and a half and counting left to go. Along the far side, number of players on both teams trying to get to it and it's picked up by Smith. Now it's knocked loose once again and picked up by Tyska. Nick Smith with a great pass and a great feed to Chikara and Chikara nets one. A 21 to 12 game. 111 left to go. Cole Salyards heading into the faceoff circle for the Hillers. Up against Tyska. Here comes Tyska, flips it back over to Chikara. And we have an injured player. Jake Tyska goes down, 54.1 seconds left to go, a 21 to 12 lead for the Hillers with the injury on the field. We'll step aside, you're tuned into Hopkins and Hillers boys playoff lacrosse on HCAM. Off the injury timeout, 54 seconds left to go. The Hillers up 21 to 12. Jake Tyska, the injured player for Whalen. We certainly hope that he's okay and that it's not too serious. Certainly tough to see anyone go down at this point in the game. Wayland with possession. Lampert along the far side. And it's the pass over, it's knocked away. 
Picked up by Smith. And there's a shot and a save by Norin. Here comes Piacenti, Piacentini, excuse me. David Piacentini, a sophomore. He's in the game briefly. Koshef with the pass out. Over to Del Ponte. And it's Whalen's ball off the whistle. It's some type of an illegal motion on the Hillers. At a play it goes, Hopkinton maintains. And this is likely gonna do it. Whalen's gonna play this one out. Pass over to Norred, and Norred will escort it back to Barnes. Now out in front, and an interception by Chikara, and he gets a goal off to make it 21 to 13. Whalen playing for pride at this point. Score comes with 3.7 left to go. Taylor is outscoring Wayland 8-2 in the third quarter, 5-3 in the fourth quarter, 13-5 overall. Here goes Wayland. And that'll do it. The Hopkinton Hillers take the 21 to 13 victory over the Wayland Warriors. The Hillers moving on in the Boys Lacrosse Central East Division II sectionals. Their next game will be at second seeded Concord Carlisle at a time to be determined on June 10th. And that date's certainly subject to change as well, but a great victory by the Hopkinton Hillers over a very tough and gritty Wayland Warriors team. The Hillers get the job done here today and they win by a final score of 21 to 13. For Joe Frackleton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy and we thank you for tuning in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Lacrosse on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your night, and we'll talk to you again soon, and go Hillers!